What's up, YouTube family? Coming at you again today from uh, my home gym, The Rack, here in Robertsdale, Alabama. Gonna uh, get in a chest workout. We're uh, in the middle of bulking season, so um, gonna be doing some intensifiers, drop sets, maybe some rest pauses, but uh, definitely gonna work on, you know, getting that big, wide chest that you always wanted. So we're gonna start out with some uh, dumbbell slight incline presses. Uh, I'm gonna do these nice and deep. Uh, do a total of four sets. For recording purposes today, we're just gonna get two. We're gonna get like a warm up sort of feeler set and then get a little bit heavier set. Uh, but when I'm doing a regular workout, I do a total of four sets. We're gonna go nice and deep into that stretch position. Kind of milking that eccentric, pausing in that stretch position to get that maximum amount of hypertrophy. set up next all right top set here so like I said really want to try and focus on slowing down the eccentric and pausing in the stretch position it's been a real transition for me and uh changing the way I work out so uh I'm still not perfect at it but getting better and ever since I have this has really greatly improved my mind muscle connection as well All right, up next, we're gonna do some uh, seated flies. All right, so my suggestion would be if, uh, if your seated pec machine has enough weight for you to be able to do a single top heavy set um, all the way to failure without the reps being, you know, ridiculously high number, um, I would suggest starting there. For me, I usually have to either do one arm at a time or pin load it with uh, additional weight in order to be able to get, you know, just one top heavy set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a drop set both times here. So, you know, instead of doing one top heavy set or, you know, in the case of a workout doing three, you know, regular single sets and then ending with a, uh, with a drop set, I'm gonna do both drop sets in order to have, you know, many approaches at failure. Still gonna focus on nice controlled reps and letting this machine really stretch me out in the eccentric.
Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Definitely feel the muscle fibers just shredded on that one. Awesome pump. This is one of my favorite movements. All right, so. Since both sets are drop sets, I don't even know if you call this a top set, but either way, with the pump that I've already got and pushing into this, uh, I am definitely feeling it. I'm already feeling the muscle fibers quite destroyed in a, uh, in a very, very, very good way. So. Oh my God, absolutely. Chest annihilation. So up next, we're gonna do a machine pin loaded incline press. So we're gonna do two sets here. We're gonna do a, uh, just like a warm up feeler set and we're gonna do a, you know, a drop set. You know, my favorite part about this machine is that it's convergent. You know, a lot of press machines are just straight pressing, which is good, but you know, convergent always just adds that extra dimension to it. So up next, drop set. All right, drop set, baby. These are where the real growth happens. <laughs> Total toast. All right. Next, we're gonna do some uh, decline cable flies. All right. So if you're following this workout at home, I suggest doing three sets and then a top, uh, and then a drop set. For the purpose of filming today, so this video isn't an hour long, we're gonna do one set and then a drop set. So, you know, first set's gonna be moderately heavy because I've, you know, done all these other sets. My muscles are warmed up, full of blood. Ready to go. All right, I'm next, we're gonna do a drop set. All right, here we go, baby. Drop sets. This is where that off-season growth comes from. This is where we create lean, lean tissue, totally, completely tearing it down. One rep at a time. Every approach to failure, it's another layer of growth. Oh.
Oh, man. Utter, complete chest destruction today. Stretch, push, stretch, push. Up next, we're gonna do a uh, hammer strength, plate loaded, incline press. All right, as with everything else today, you know, if you're following this at home, I do, you know, a warm up set, a couple of hot, heavy sets, and then finish with a drop set. For today's purpose, we're going straight to, you know, a heavier set and then a drop set, because I am thoroughly warmed up after everything we've done today. Up next, drop set, baby. All right, here we go. Hard and heavy drop set. Up next, we're gonna finish with a uh, one more free motion cable movement. Uh, all right, so this movement's gonna be somewhat a hybrid of a fly and a press movement all in one. Either way, it's gonna be a little convergent, which is fantastic. You know, I like to mix up my movements and do a, you know, a pressing and a convergent sort of movement. Um, and then compressing and, or pressing and convergent back and forth, making sure that, you know, we're building the muscle fibers and then, you know, creating those striations as well. Up next, we'll do a final drop set of the day. All right, y'all. Definitely running out of gas and uh, muscle fiber recruitment. So uh, let's get it together and get this one last drop set in. Get some nice stretch out of this. Once we go back. Uh, all right, I'm toast. Oh, 
So, if you like the video, like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't taken the time yet. Click the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. And uh, leave a comment. Ask a question, leave a comment, give a suggestion. You know, definitely welcome any and all comments. So, uh, just remember, we get better together. And you can't out be some monster. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.